Some of the top wheelchair tennis players in the world are gathering in Grand Rapids this week for the USTA Midwest Wheelchair Tennis Championships. As Joe Alisio shows us, the field, including a pair of West Michigan players amongst the favorites, who are overcoming through tennis together. Brian Davis and Chris Kelly have more in common than either ever thought they would. During the match, we do a lot of, like, game, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, change this, change that. The two are doubles partners. It doesn't move much. Preparing for this week's USTA Midwest Wheelchair Tennis Championships taking place here in Grand Rapids. The only difference that we have is we get two bounces instead of one bounce. I've been playing for 10 years and I'm still learning stuff every single day. Brian is a veteran of the United States Navy. He started playing tennis after a motorcycle accident completely severed his spine. You know, I think about it a lot, like where I would be, where I wouldn't be if I had not joined tennis. I'm just happy to be here, not six feet under where I could have been. Chris was born with a genetic mutation that causes brittle bone disease. It affects his lower body much more than his upper. The lamest way I've broken my leg was I was just walking down the stairs. I stepped on it wrong and the leg broke. So like when I'm swinging the racket, when I come in contact with a ball, the, the vibration and just the pushing, it's a very low impact way for me to build muscle. Kelly is so good, he's a member of the United States development team. I like to win, I like to compete. So to be able to travel around the world and the nation to, to compete at tournaments has been unreal. Davis isn't far behind and both have dreams of winning more national tournaments, something else they plan to have in common. For 24-Hour News 8, I'm Joe Alisio.